Tonight we have a special edition of For the Love of the Game. As many athletes are without a rink or a court to train on these days due to the COVID-19 pandemic, a local farm in Cloquet is opening up its gates to horseback riders so they can stay active during this time. March 12th through the 15th down in Waco, Texas, was a weekend that Janelle Engstead had spent months preparing for. To be able to like compete at that level is like a blessing. Like it's just amazing to run with those people who are like pro. They're like they're like idols to all of us. So we're kind of up there with them, and hopefully we'll get there someday. Engstead was one of hundreds of riders competing at the elite extravaganza barrel race competitions right before the world stopped due to the COVID-19 pandemic. That was our last race before the virus hit and we're itching to get back into it. So we've just been riding and practicing at the farm and hopefully they start back up and we can compete again. While many other competitions, including the Houston Rodeo, were being shut down, Engstead and Ashley Edmonds were able to compete in every run they had planned to do down in Waco. It was on the way back that they learned that the sport they loved was going to look a lot different. We were all ready to like take on the year and like continue racing and we had races planned that um, were literally the following weekend. So with races on hold at the moment, what do Janelle, Ashley and her sister Kylie do? Well, luckily for them, Townline Farms in Cloquet, where the three ride and Janelle's mom is the owner, is one of the few places that is able to stay open during the pandemic. We've been practicing, doing new stuff, and just getting our riding better and performing better. Townline Farms is able to stay open under the governor's stay-at-home order as agriculture is considered to be an essential service. As for the girls, they're grateful to have both an indoor and outdoor facility. So if anything, more time to train and get better. I mean, right now we're just out here working horses. So when our races do start up again, we're ready to go and oh, geared up and on top. Oh. <laughs> Janelle, Kylie and Ashley know that their competition is going to be working as well. I know that the first the first race of the year, it's going to be it's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough competition for all of us. I mean, everybody's at home sitting there working with their horses, so it's going to be it's going to be a it's going to be a race for sure. Tim Walls' stay-at-home order, order rather. Equin orders, barn managers, and service providers are considered an essential service. The horses have to be ridden, they have to be fed and taken care of care of. Therefore, owner Jill Dreck has experienced a booming in her business, having the capabilities to open her barn to riders, get this, 24-7 in facilities that she just built about a year ago. A pretty cool opportunity for riders in this community. Now, she has had to close down a lot of services like birthday parties and recreational riding, but riders are ab still able to get in there and get their horses taken care of in Cloquet. You can visit our website, cbs3duluth.com, on the sports page to learn much more about Timeline Farms.